Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Salami today. We're doing something a little bit different. You might have noticed that uh, you're seeing Final Fantasy uh, 7 Rebirth in the background here. And the reason you're seeing this is I am actually playing this on my Steam Deck, but I'm streaming it to my Steam Deck from my PS5. Um, and so I actually really wanted to talk about this because the app itself is amazing. So I wanted to just make it aware to everybody that if you've got a PS5, like this is something worthwhile having on your Steam Deck. Um, this will work for your LCD or OLED. I've got the OLED and it also lets you do the HDR if you've got the OLED model. So you're getting the best of both worlds here. And I just wanted to show off some gameplay from Rebirth because I've played about four or five hours so far on the uh, Steam Deck and uh, it's actually really good. You can tell sometimes that you're streaming it from your uh, PlayStation, but giving you the flexibility of playing it anywhere in the house, especially when the missus wants to watch TV, um, this is a great way to do it. So the app itself is called, uh, I actually don't know how to pronounce this, so please, please don't get angry. Uh, Ch Chachanki, C-H-I-A-K-I. Um, and what I'm going to do in this video is I'll show you how to download it from the Discover Store. And then once we've downloaded it, installed it, um, I'm just going to just talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth a wee bit here uh, in relation to other RPGs coming out at the moment like Veilguard and Nordics and all that. And I also wanted to touch on just how the internet is at the moment so this video is a bit of a mixed bag but basically the first half is just uh, how to the first bit is just how to install this uh, app to stream your ps5 to your steam deck and then the second half is just you're going to see all rebirth gameplay here just so you can get an idea of the quality of the picture that you're going to get streaming it in-house i don't know what the quality is going to look like if you go on the uh, out of your house this is on my home network so without further ado let's jump into downloading this awesome streaming app for your steam deck so we're going to make our way over to desktop mode here which you can do by pushing the steam button power and then desktop then we're going to go ahead down to this blue icon here which is the discover store and basically you're going to search for this here chingy NG, okay i'm just going to put it in the search bar up the top left here and you'll see that it comes up even after putting in ch it's the third one down uh, so that is what you're looking for is this app right here and then you'll just download it and add it to your steam um to your steam deck it's it's pretty straightforward um we're going to launch it from in here i'm going to get a few errors and that's simply because i'm doing this from nested desktop within my steam deck which isn't normally how you would load it up so just ignore those errors um, as you can see here my ps5 is currently already connected i'm going to try and uh, block out my ip address there so if you're wondering why there's a big block in the middle of the screen that is why and you can see here you can add in your other consoles other ps5s or ps4s if you so desire cool thing is here you can wake them from sleep so you can uh, you don't have to be around to turn on your ps5 or 4 i'm not sure about 4 i haven't tried it with a ps4 only a ps5 so if you have tried this with ps4 please let me know in the comments how it how it works um we'll have a look through the settings here i've left a lot of this on auto the render preset i've put on high quality that's probably i don't know whether it starts on high quality but that's what i've put it on you may need to drop that down if your network speed's not that fast. As you can see here, the resolution set to 1080p, 60fps, and HDR. And that's for my uh, local and remote. So I don't know if remote would be local. I'm assuming if it knows it's on the same home network. And remote, maybe if you're out and about, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but yeah, and you can register more consoles here. And as you see, we've got keys and controllers. So you can rebind the controller buttons um, if you so desire. But so what I've done here is I set on the back of my Steam Deck uh, on the R buttons, uh, escape and shift. So it means I've got my trackpad um, click 
and my PlayStation button on the back of my uh, Steam Deck, meaning I don't have to, uh, I didn't have to change any of the actual controller ma mapping because I didn't really want to fiddle with it. So I just did that. So you can also do your other R2 uh, buttons, R, R3 buttons and whatever, and do them as other PlayStation, like X's or circles or whatever you want to do. So that's just my uh, opinion on that. Of course, you can do it your own way, but I found this was a great way to get to the, uh, be able to click on the touchpad and of course the PlayStation button, but you do what's, what you'd like. So from here, we're gonna jump over to the actual uh, in-game mode and uh, show loading it up for the first time. Here we are back in game mode. As you can see here, I've called it PlayStation 5 and given it some icons and some fancy stuff. So if you wanna do this as well, as you can see here, you've got different capsules you can use as well as wide capsules and icons and logos and all that good stuff. So if you're also wanting to make your PlayStation 5 streaming app look tidy like mine, you're gonna need Decky Loader, which I'll have a link to in the description below, along with Steam Grid DB, and that will allow you to add your custom pictures uh, to your third party apps that you add to your Steam Deck. As you can see here, it's seen my PS5. Again, if there's a big block, it's because I'm trying to hide my IP. So sorry about that but we've got to do what we've got to do. Um, as you can see, I'm waking my PS5 up, so it disappears. You can see now that the PS5 is now, state is ready. So we can load that up. It's going back into my last game, which you can see was Final Fantasy. Going over to the desktop here. Desktop home screen, whatever you want to call it. It's all up and running. You can see here my account is, uh, my PlayStation knows that I'm streaming it which is pretty great. Um, one downside is I was hoping you were going to be able to stream media, but no, you can't. So unfortunately, you can't stream your Netflix or your Apple Music or anything like that from your PS5. They, they block that, which is really annoying. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, uh, it's just for playing games. So from here, we'll go back into... Final Fantasy, we'll play a little bit and um, have a bit of a yarn, I guess. Yeah, so as you can tell, the, I think the streaming quality is quite high. So I'm recording this on the Steam Deck, of course. So what you see here is what you're going to get. Um, of course, we're going to get compression from YouTube and everything else. But the fact that this app is free, um, there's no harm in trying it with your PS5, right? Like... I'm more, it's more of a letting you know that this exists if you didn't know about it already as a new Steam Deck user or even as a, uh, a well-versed one. Sometimes you just miss some of this stuff. Uh, so, yeah, why not give it a go? And if you've got one, then you don't have to get a uh, PlayStation Portal. If I hadn't had a Steam Deck, there's a high chance I probably would have bought a PlayStation Portal um, because it's a great idea to be able to stream your PlayStation games to anywhere you want. Um, and I don't notice any latency, like I'm able to play basically without any issue. Uh, I've, yeah, like I say, I've put about five hours. I played a lot of this on my PC, uh, on my PC, in the lounge on the big TV, but it is actually quite nice to be able to just play this in bed on the Steam Deck, uh, and not really lose too much in terms of quality. You know, sometimes if the network is busy, if my partner is watching videos on her phone i'm playing this and we've got netflix on in the background you know sometimes there's a bit of give and pull in terms of quality but generally speaking we can get away with i, I get away with pretty good quality footage like uh streaming most of the time and uh, i mean i would put this up there with geforce now in terms of quality like I've been using GeForce now for about a month and I'm really happy with that also. So, you know, you could talk about this in terms of GeForce now. I, I think between, if you have a PS5 and uh, GeForce now, you're getting a pretty good deal for your Steam Deck in terms of being able to play a lot of games at a much higher visual quality. Uh, as Steam Deck, you know, this game isn't out on PC yet and 
I think if this, when this comes to PC, I don't know if the Steam Deck is actually going to be able to play this natively at a reasonable uh, pace because I look at something like um, Silent Hill 2, people playing that natively on their, peer, on their Steam Decks and I couldn't do it. I, I just didn't think it was worth it and I streamed it from my PC using Sunshine and Moonlight, uh, which is amazing. So I've, I've got two sets, I've got three sets of streaming setups on my Steam Deck. I've got my, uh, this app for my PS5, I've got Sunshine and Moonshine for my PC, and then I have GeForce now for everything else. Um, but I'm slowly going to just start migrating mostly to GeForce now as then I don't have to turn on my PC. Uh, which is makes it even easier so yeah just it, it's kind of crazy how I was pretty much always against streaming um, but it, I think the technology is actually getting to a point where it's actually usable but let me know if, if any of you guys are using GeForce now or you've been using this app or if you've been using Moonshine like me um, I'd love to know uh, how you're feeling about all the streaming stuff the only one I haven't tried is uh, the Xbox Cloud one. What's that? X, X, not X-Force. Uh, X-Cloud or whatever it's called. That's the only one I haven't tried is the Xbox version, which is supposed to be really good too. Um, but if most games come to GeForce now, there's no point having uh, Xbox. Because I'd rather buy the games than pay a monthly subscription to Microsoft. I'm, I'm just... It's weird, I'll pay a sub to stream my own games rather than pay Xbox to own the games and let me stream them. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Anyway, let me know if you're in the same boat or if you'd rather just play for xCloud and do it that way. Um, and so, the reason I'm playing... Uh, moving on to our next subject, I should say that. Uh, I'm playing Gone Back to Rebirth. I hadn't finished this game. Now, I started playing the hell out of this when it launched earlier this year. And I was loving every minute of it. I, like, really got into it. And I thought it was amazing. And it was my game of the year. Anyway, I got, I don't know. I must be about halfway through. I got up to the gold saucer. Um, and I was loving it. And then I ended up uh, romancing Aerith, which wasn't my intention. I didn't go in watching any guides or looking at anything. Uh, it was meant to be Tifa. Anyway, I made uh, I did it wrong at the beach scene. I picked the wrong outfits for the wrong character. Anyway, don't worry about it. That's a that's a me problem. Anyway, when Aerith shows up your door to go on a date, I was like, it kind of just killed it for me instantly. Even though it wasn't a big deal, it really annoyed me that I'd picked incorrect options for what I wanted. Um, I'm just too dense to know what I'm doing. Uh, so that really sucked. And so I put it down and I was like, I'll come back to it straight away. Like, I'm just going to have a couple days off. I've been going hard on it. And, um, the gold saucer, even in the original for me is, I don't, it doesn't, I don't like it. It's a real slow bit. Like, I just don't. It's not for me. I think it's kind of a waste of time. I know why it's there and all the rest of it, but I just don't like the gold source stuff. Anyway, so I put it down, and then the year's gone on, and I've just played other games, and I just never came back to Rebirth. And it's funny, because just in time for Rebirth, I finished Remake again for the second time. And I loved... I think... I, even now, I still think Remake is better is the best uh, remake of a like Final Fantasy game by far. Um, and so the reason I've come back to this, going going in full circle, uh, with all the stuff going on with the Veil Guard, because I was going to buy Veil Guard day one, and I'm still pretty certain I'm going to buy it sooner rather than later, um, because that's just who I am. It reminded me I needed to come back and play this. So, in, in some ways, the big controversy with Veilguard has actually brought me back to playing Final Fantasy Rebirth. And while I love this game, I think it's great and I think everyone should play it. I miss the simplicity of Remake 
while a lot of people wouldn't didn't like the corridor based setup of re remake i feel like the pacing was just so much better as you can see here uh i'm in the i think it's the fourth this will be the fourth zone this is coral or whatever i think that's the name sorry if i've got it wrong it's after juno uh, uh and it's after the gold saucer it's underneath you know you do all this stuff i don't know how much i should say about story wise anyway this is like the fourth large open world zone and i know there's still cosmo canyon I don't know if that's the last major zone after this. And I think it's just, I just want to do the main story, but I can't not do everything in the open world zone. So it puts you in this weird rock and a hard place because I don't want to leave it. But I really just want to play through the main story because it's so good. I think if uh, you could cut out the main, like the open world stuff, it just go for a bait story beat to main story beat with side quests peppered in, but more linear based. I think I would enjoy this more funnily enough. Uh, and so coming back to it's reminded me of why I had these issues, but honestly, uh, it is a lot of fun to be back in the Final Fantasy world and being able to play it on Steam Deck funnily enough. Uh, I'm hoping there's a PC release of this, I'd say next year. And I'll be very curious to see how this game works on Steam Deck. I know Remake works on Steam Deck. I have yet to buy it again on PC. Because that would make it the third time I would have bought this game. As I bought on PS4, PS5 and then Steam. So uh, I've been holding out on buying the PC version. Because I've already bought it twice. So it's like buying it third time is kind of crazy to me. Um, but I just wanted to... <laughs> point that out so i just want to say thanks for you guys for watching and let me know if you're going to give this a go and stream some final fantasy to your steam deck uh without further ado have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next video catch you later